People often use the adage, actions speak louder than words. The intent, of course, is to remind us that even though our words are powerful, the way that we reflect those words, convictions, and principles to the rest of the world matters. In the hours after Jesus went to the Garden of Gethsemane to pray, he was betrayed, arrested, denied by Peter, presented to the High Council, and sent to trial. The trial began with Jesus standing in front of Pilate, the Roman governor. Are you the king of the Jews? The governor asked him. Jesus replied, you have said it. But after that, Jesus remained silent. He didn't say a word. He didn't say a word when the priests and elders made their accusations. He didn't say a word when Herod and his soldiers mocked and ridiculed him. He didn't even say a word when Pilate demanded a response to the charges. Ecclesiastes 3 verse 7 tells us that there is a time to be quiet and a time to speak. In the ultimate example of action speaking louder than words, Jesus is a quiet presence in the midst of the roar of anger, frustration, and hate that is being spewed around him. His silence was prophesied in Isaiah 53 7 when the prophet writes, He was oppressed and treated harshly, yet he never said a word. There was a lot Jesus could have said especially in front of a large crowd. He could have delivered a sermon that led many to believe in him, or he could have condemned his accusers. But Jesus knew they wouldn't listen and proved that silence can be an even more powerful testimony than words. Rather than defend himself, Jesus stood silent, ready to be condemned in order to complete his mission to atone for our sins. Questions for reflection. Can you think of a time when you argued when you should have remained silent? What made it a poor choice? Why do you think Jesus chose to remain silent? What would your reaction be if you were in the crowd that day? What question or questions would you have wanted to ask Jesus at the trial?